What? Oi, oi, oi. Oh, shit. Holy fuck. <laughs> Smash your head in. Holy fuck, dude. That is brutal. Damn. Yo, what's up guys? Welcome back to Dead by Daylight. Today we're on the PTB and it's a very exciting day. The Oni has come out on the PTB as a surprise. I'm a little bit late to it, which isn't good because, I mean, I'm going to get like 20 minute, 30 minute lobbies. I've heard is how long they are right now. It's killer. But before we jump into killer, unfortunately I didn't have enough blood points to spend either, so I don't have a lot of perks, but we're going to try them anyway. We're going to look at the survivor perks first, then the killer perks, and we're going to jump into a game. So first, let's go into the survivor and let's see. I haven't looked at these perks just yet. But I have equipped the survivor, just so you can see her. So here she is, Yu Kimura. Kimura. Alright, so let's look at her perks. I'm hoping there's something good in here, because the meta needs to change in this game, dudes. Honestly, <laughs> let's have a look. Okay, our first perk is Lucky Break. You've had your share of scrapes and bruises, but looks always on your side. Lucky Break activates any time you're injured. You won't leave blood trails for a total of 120 seconds. Mm, okay. Lucky Break is permanently deactivated for the remainder of the trial once the total duration has lapsed. Ah, so you can only use it once. This could be good with Iron Will. Um, but since it's, you can only use it once a trial, it's... Uh, we'll see. We'll see how this is. It seems like it could be fun to use, though. Alright, and then this. Any means necessary. You stand up for yourself using whatever's on hand to gain an advantage. Press and hold the activate ability button for 3 seconds while standing beside a drop pallet to reset it to its upright position. Holy shit. Any means necessary is a cooldown of 160 seconds. Dude, this could actually be pretty good. Uh, I mean, it's almost a 3 minute cooldown, but obvi for obvious reasons. This could actually be pretty nice. Imagine you drop the god pallet at the shack, the killer doesn't break it, you go back, reset it, and you can use it again. I could see this perk being very useful, so this is a nice one. I expect to see this quite often compared to this. And her last one, Breakout. You kick into high gear when someone's in trouble, inspiring them to overcome any obstacle. When within 6 meters of a carried survivor, you gain haste status effect. Moving at 5% increased speed, the carried survivor's wiggle speed is increased by 20%. So, okay, I see this being good with boil over. Because let's say you're playing in a survivor with friends. Everyone has this, everyone has boil over. You're going to be standing near, taking hits. They're going to be wiggling quicker. Boil over is going to be kicking in. It's going to... In a survivor friends group, this and boil over could be very good, actually. So, I'm hoping to see some cool plays by some people with that. And uh, the survivor comes with... Her base clothes, and she also comes with two of these, two jackets, so she has this one, it's gold on the back, pink if you change, and on the front it's like pink here, and then it's like white and pink here, so that's cool. And now probably the most exciting is the killer, obviously. This killer is badass, dude, look at him. He looks so sick, honestly. He looks crazy, dude, he looks crazy. I haven't seen much gameplay or anything yet, I kind of want to jump into myself, but I've... Uh, I've had a little bit of a look, like a glimpse, so I can get a little bit of an understanding for myself, so I'm not going in completely blind. But we're basically going in blind anyway. Let's look at his perks before we jump in. His first perk, Z Zanshin Tactics. And looks potential in one's aura reading ability. You are mentally alert and aware of key points on the battlefield. The auras of all pallets and vault locations are revealed to you within a 24 meter range. When a survivor is damaged, this perk becomes inactive for 40 seconds. Alright, I don't see it being very good. This could be good for new killers or people that are new to the game. It could be a good good perk, kind of like a windows of opportunity for survivor. So I don't really see this being used by a lot of people. Then we have blood echo. The agony of one is afflicted on others. When hugging a survivor, all other injured survivors suffer from the hemorrhage state effect until healed and the exhaustion state effect for 45 seconds. Um, I can see it's been quite good actually. Uh, let's say you're using um, sloppy butcher, thanatophobia potentially. You have people injured who are not healing. This could be good. Uh, to make them all exhausted, not using exhaustion perks, but I don't really see it shifting the meta and being changed into the meta, but who knows, we'll see. Then we have Nemesis. You seek retribution on those who have wronged you. A survivor who blinds or stuns you using a pallet or locker becomes your obsession. Anytime a new survivor becomes the obsession, they are afflicted by the oblivious status effect for 40 seconds and the aura is shown to you for 4 seconds. The killer can be only obsessed with one survivor at a time, obviously. Okay, this perk, meh. The, the killer's perk don't seem amazing, but let's see how the killer is, anyway. Unfortunately, I didn't know the PTB was going to be today, so I didn't stock up on blood points. So I've literally, normally I get the killer to around like 40 and 50. Um, but not, not not been so lucky today, considering I jumped on and had 30k points, I had to spend my iridescent shards, which I didn't have many, to get some more points. And didn't even get him to level 15 for 4 perks, so it's a bit sad. But we're going to make do, we're going to see what we can do. Don't even have a Mori, which is sad, so I can't even show that off. But anyway, we're going to jump in. First, we have... 
splintered hull, which I'm going to be using because this moderately increases the amount of blood orbs dropped by survivors. And if you don't know, when you injure a survivor, they drop blood orbs, which the only has to grab the blood orbs to charge his power. And then we also have bloody sass, which increases movement speed while I'm absorbing them. You will see in game if you haven't seen already. And considering I can only choose three perks on my low level, didn't get to, didn't really get to level him a mo uh, bunch. I've got nurses one, which is me. I got pop goes which is probably the best I have, and blood one two. So we're we're gonna see. And now I'm gonna jump into a uh, 50 minute wait queue. So I'll see you when I'm in game. All right here we are. We got the new map, which is beautiful. I haven't played it yet. So yeah, it will be nice to try it. Let's go. A lot of these survivors have a lot of hours again, so I'm not looking hopeful, but let's see what we can do. We're going to go far over here first. Damn, this is just one gen on its own. I hope they take this one. It would be nice. Oh, hi, survivors. Hello. What? Okay. Interesting. I'm actually not going to get hit. Oh, never mind. Someone, someone used the shack pallet already for some reason. It's interesting. Whoa, did you get fat shamed? Well, that sucks. <laughs> I think he got fat shaved there. Interesting. They're using the new perk, right? He's gonna wiggle fast. All right. Still don't think you'll wiggle out, dude. The hook is right here. But I'll take two free hits. That helps. The out of phobia would have been nice. Hey, what? Ah, oh. I was wondering why I couldn't uh, absorb the blood, and I'm full already. Cool. find it very hard to see on this. Insta down, nice. Uh, I don't need to always do that charge, I need to remember that. I think the charge is literally just to close the distance and close the gap. Okay. Okay, that takes way too long. Whoa, what's happened here? Jesus. I think I'm bugged out here. Damn. Okay. <coughs> well, we'll hook Meg now. Damn, Meg, I'm really itchy, god damn it. Okay. The ability needs some work. Like, I mean, I, knew I need to work on using it. I'm not very good with it. Chase this blood down. Where have you gone? This would explain it. Whoa, I got stuck on the gen after that. Whoa, 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 what is this lag, dude? Anyone else see that? It's interesting. Interesting little bit of lag there. It's fine. Hmm. I'm not gonna get too hung up over that near. Gonna let it go. Do need to find someone there. There's gonna be at least m more than two people over here at least. Back over here. But I imagine this is where they healed then. Okay. Okay. Hello. Slap. Cool. That was kind of a waste of the ability. I should have gone for the Meg. She was full health. Um, shouldn't have gone for this guy because he was injured and it's an insta down ability. And I and since I picked him up, um, you know, since I picked the guy up, um, it made the ability go. So it's kind of a waste. Um, sure, sure. They jumped off. Ah, she dropped this pallet early, but I think she had the new perk so she could drop it. Uh, she she could pick it back up. I knew I knew it was dead hard, and I still did that. God damn it! Oh, she's going again. Okay. That was bold. That was very bold. There was no way you were making it. There was no way she was making that again, dude. She got greedy. She really didn't want to use the pallet, right? Did this get kicked because my surge? Did surge kick this gem? Oh, that's sad. Okay. Hmm. 
These guys have got a lot of hours. They're quite um, know how to play the game, but it's respectful. They're not rushing the gens. Like the first, the first game I played on here, they were gen rushing like crazy, and I mean, like it's the PTB, you know. I don't care too much about winning, but I kind of want to have a longer game than like a five-minute game, considering how long I'm waiting to get into lobbies. Oh, yo, yo. Okay, this knee is going to be hard to get. She's quite good, I think. Oh, the sprinting is weird. Where? There. <laughs> okay, game. Very nice. Love that. Okay, this knee has got a. There's no point me chasing her here. This leap is horrible. Oh, could have got a hit on there there if that didn't take like a week. Okay, gens are being done now. What? Okay. That was bullshit. I'm not gonna lie. Did she leave? Someone ran through here. Need to go more to the gens, need to patrol the gens better. These guys are just doing gens. Ah. Come on, Steve. Zbeeve. What is up here? Ah. Is there anything up here? Jeez, is there a hook nearby? God damn. Alright, now they're doing gens. This guy's dead, right? Come on. Jesus, she wanted it, dude. She wanted the business. Well, there goes my ability, but there's so much blood here, so I should be able to get it back pretty fast. Yeah, there we go. Got it back. Thank you, Meg. <laughs> Damn. Someone. Someone around here. They go this way. This is where the blood seems to be dropped. Unless that was from Steve. Could have been. Could have been from Steve. Hmm, who knows. This one got kicks the surge, cool. Oh, trap doors there. Whoa. Okay. It's nice that the hatch can spawn up there. Kind of a waste he's popped there, but all the other gens are already kicked, so... Let's use this to get back to that gen quickly. So ideally, I want them to do the gen over there on the left, so I can gen lock them, but... Hmm. They seem quite adamant doing this one. Oh no. Never mind. Did they get back up here? Nope, that's kicked. So are they doing that one that's far away? It'd be nice to see. Damn, you can move fast though. It's very more agile, like it's hard to turn here, but you can move with the arrow keys as well. He doesn't bump like Billy does, so I can see him being a bit more... Not better than Billy, but, you know, way more flexibility than Billy has. Which is definitely nice. That smashes pallets. I knew it did when you charged, but I didn't know if you held it down, it could. Alright. This is a new survivor. I already forgot a name. I think it was Yui, right? Was it Yui? Wait, what? Sounds like Meg. Did they reuse the sounds from Meg? Does she not have her own sounds yet? I don't think she does. Yeah, it's, it's, it's the same sound as Meg. It's the same sound, it's actually the same sound as Meg. They've reused really the sound. I, I mean, it's the PTB, right? They're going to have sounds for when she's in the game. But right now, it's Meg. Okay, that's very interesting. Hmm. Okay. 
Yeah, they have Meg sound effects. That's very interesting, actually. <laughs> okay. <laughs> sure. Damn, that was a quick heal, dude. Did he run? Probably. <laughs> ah, deliverance, sure. Mm. Ah, that's, that's, yeah. Alright then, let's dance. Yeah, fucking got you now. Nice. Damn. This is a way better game. Okay, it's Mori time. I had a yellow Mori. Hopefully she doesn't DC. Please don't DC. I want to see it. I'm probably going to get one to showcase anyway, so you'll see at the start. Alright. Oi, oi, oi. Oh, shit. Holy fuck. <laughs> Smash her head in. Holy fuck, dude. That is brutal. Damn. <laughs> okay, damn, I'm surprised. That is brutal. I wish the game had gore, though. Proper gore. It would suit this game perfectly. Damn.